do not want any spoilers of the campaign. Well, you arrived at just the right time because I just finished the previous battle just before you came. Oh yeah, I should upgrade my career. Um, so I did get one more point of army specialization or organization, which I would assume means I can get bigger. Nope, still one thousand five. Can I get up to 2,000? Okay, so if I went up to Army Organization 4, I can get 2,000 size brigades. He died well, though. He died very well. So I'm thinking probably Army Organization and Politics? Because I do like having a lot of money. And I'm not really in the mood to spend a lot of money on guns again, because that almost cost me. Almost. Although Fizz Biscuits did get a ridiculous number of kills. Logistics would be additional ammo. Though that's doubling down. I mean, I've already got the plus 20%, plus the plus 20%. Plus, now I know I need to buy more supply. Uh, increases the starting army size. Nah, who needs knowledge? When you've got politics and army organization. I'm going to get army organization. The thing I'm questioning is do I want to go up to level 5? Five? 5 brigades per division. I don't think so. Not yet. I'm going to go with the money and the recruits. Yes, sir. War of economy. Okay. Then the next thing I need to do is if I have any other high ranking officers to replace them with lower level. Although actually you guys can be commanded by decent guys. Yes sir. So you can be that. Uh, actually, place you just for a second. You can be commanded by Daniel Tyler. Did Garth Wells lose his... I lost all of my brigadier. Damn it. Tyler is there. Then Brewster is there. And Brooks is there. Goth? No. Piss Biscuits, that's who I was looking for. I want you in the first set. Piss Biscuits has slightly less experience than Garth Wells, despite killing way more. Alright. Unfortunately, they also had some of my best commanders. Might be able to get some officers to wreck that. Is true. Oh, 2,000 Springfields. Oh, that's worth it. And yes, I can. And yes, I will. Actually, the Harper's Ferry is better. Accuracy. Longer range. Same damage. Slower fire, just more accurate, less melee. I could do with both of them, to be fair. Do it. All right, Garth Wells. I'm going to switch you. Not yet. Sir, yes, sir. Fizz biscuits. You're going to use veterans. And you're going to go up to two thousand men. With Springfields. Which is kind of expensive. Despite the fact that I have 2,900 of them in the armory. Well, that's just paying for the veterans then. Which is fine. You using Lawrence's? I'm going to change you to Harper Ferries. I'm not. I'm changing you to Harper Ferries. Ah, fuck it. No. There's a lot of them in the shop. <laughs> Ouch. Like, I only have a thousand in the bank. I thought I had like two thousand and no, one thousand seven hundred. Um. Oh, I need to do the officers too. So Fizz Biscuits, I'm still going to pretend you're the best unit. 
Garth Wells, you're the second best. Schmidty. And Bucken. And... After that, Trooper. You're also a level two. I don't want to spend quite that much money to upgrade you. 89,000 money. Yes, sir. That's a lot. Oh, is that saying that I still have 1,100 left? So that's 1,700 and something. So we'll bring you up to 1,750. Yeah, that's far more reasonable. Then the other 250 is like the other 20 grand. Twenty pounders is the best artillery in the game, was that here? It was. Can't get them anymore. Oh, there's a limited I thought that was my spending. Oh. I didn't realize. <laughs> ah. I thought reputation was literally something you just cash in. Did I save right at the end of the battle? Twenty seventh of June. What, what, what day is it now? Uh, well, let's save it, just in case. G6. I didn't realise that reputation was spent in that way, because I don't think I'd get the Harper's Ferry Rifles. So, just in case. 27th of June. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. And just go to the camp. Battle save should take you back. Right, that was the autosave before going into the potential... Yeah, we're good, we're good. Ah, morale boost plus two. Your fame is growing. The soldiers fighting under you have increased morale. Government's very supportive of your efforts and can reward you with additional resources if you need. Be warned every time you request something, you lower your reputation. The war is not only fought by you and extra supplies for your troops, weakens our armies elsewhere. So I think I probably do want the officers and I probably want those. Still get them just waiting until after the side battles. That's fair. Right, first things first, let's go and ditch these guys. Because they're going to get used. Right. Then you are going to be Grant. Mordred's still in charge. You need to be upgraded with logistics and infantry. First division is going to be led by Tyler. Second division is going to be led by Brewster. Third division is going to be led by Brooks. Fizz Biscuits is going to be led by McDowell. Wells is going to be led by Sherman. Schmidty It's going to be led by Porter. Hey, Captain Obvious. High school's named after Grant. Oh, cool. Then, Bucken. Be older. That's fine. Eagle Slayer. Andy Branch. Uh, yeah, Andy Branch. No, he was the second best trooper. Branch. Then probably Eagle. Yeah, you two got almost no experience. Canadian Husky is not even a level one yet because you underperformed dramatically. I can move one of these guys up, which would be Shambor, actually. 
I have plans for you. Fucking needs a higher level. You've already got a high level. He's about to get promoted, actually. Uh, okay. Eagle. You get him. Shambor. You get him. Right, so everyone's got an officer now. At least a lieutenant colonel. Cool. Self doesn't, but that doesn't matter, I don't think. Schmidty, what are your promotion? It can be tactical training, rotation speed plus 50%, cover plus 25, stealth plus 200, gunnery, firearms plus 10, reload minus 10, or shooting training, firearms 10, accuracy 10. Reload would be nice, but you already kind of eat through supply. I'm actually really tempted by tactical training because I do tend to put you close up and you do tend to get shot at. And the stealth would be nice because it means that you are harder to detect. But then again, your artillery, like, you are supposed to be there for the barrage. Accuracy would be nice too. True. But the shooting training is more for long range. And artillery isn't that effective at long range. You kind of want them short to mid. Like, canister range. If they're in canister range, they're good. I don't think I want gunnery. Well, reload, fire, as long as I sort out my supply issues, I'll risk it. Bucken. You've already taken the uh, reload time reduction, because you're already very accurate. Stamina spotting stealth? No. Firearms reload accuracy? Yes. You are marksman. Eagle Slayer. Now, considering Gothwells and Fizz Biscuits are my long-ranged guys, do I want to make one of my... Others, close range. Because I'm not actually sure that I do. <laughs> so that's morale and efficiency, or stamina efficiency and speed. I don't really care about speed. Always need close range assault troops. Do I though? I mean, that's very much a South thing. If I was playing as the South, then yes. My guns, the ones that I prefer, will reduce my melee. Well, I could get other melee guns. Are there any that are, like, dedicated melee? Farmers are. No. And the farmers really are crap. Yes, so, no. I'm going to go with just range. Discipline. Discipline. The ability to stand under fire is pretty important. Uh, trooper is a level 2. So you could get Assault, which is melee, morale, and stamina. Accuracy, but reload. Or oh, more accurate. I'm going to take the reload. You're just there to fusillade. Could run into forts, need to charge into defense. True. i just blast them with artillery. Stealth is best for howitzers and grape cannon, high caliber. Accuracy is better for the long range guns for sniping enemy. Yeah, I pr probably should upgrade these to a higher caliber than 10 pound. Like 12 or even 14s. Although that would carry a cost. <laughs> All right, Aristide. Discipline. Elise Moi. Discipline. Chambord. Discipline. Horned Panda. Ammo plus 50%, efficiency plus 5. Almost certainly it's going to be that. Yeah. Kind of important for artillery. Now, I'm kind of making an assumption that these are going to be one core battles. I wish it told you here how many cores that is. They're all 
worth the same. Twenty pounds and twenty fours, and Napoleon's the best artillery. Yeah, that's what I suspected. I'm gonna guess that these are all just one core. One core. Thought so. Twelve brigades, which is what I have. Yeah, that's twelve. So if any of these are more than 12 core, I should probably wait. Six brigades? That's a small one. Okay. That's probably kind of assuming you probably took some damage at Shiloh. Eight brigades. These are all tiny. Which I'm totally fine with. And then the big one, Gaines Mill. 30 brigades, 2 cores. Um, right. So, reinforcements. I think what I'm going to do for the extra. I mean, I could go up to, like, here with rookies and then replace the rest of the veterans. Oh, I see the more guns you get, the poorer stuff gets. Yeah, you can see the stats. So more artillery means way less accuracy. Apparently it's when efficiency starts falling off, that's when the problems start. So I'm going to make you a 12 gun battery. I'm fine with that. And I'm fine with them being... Ah, I see. Uh, I thought there was a downside to having high number of cannon, but it's not showing me. Didn't realize that was just because of the rookies. There is the turn, the aim slower. Yeah, but I thought it would actually show here, because I thought it was like for a Brigadier General, it's a certain amount. For a... Whatever Grant is. Major General, it's another amount. Etc, etc. 16 is the sweet spot. Yeah, I suspect as much. I think I'm going to increase you to a 10. And I'm going to pay the cost. That's fine. Bucken, you are worth every freaking penny. 30 grand. Look at their firearm skill. It's ridiculous. Yes, sir. Um, why are you at the back of this list? I thought you'd be at the front. Okay, so I think for these guys, I am going to just uh, do it to the beginning there. And then the rest is going to be veteran. To keep them at that level. I don't want to spend too much money on this. I thought my limit was... Oh, I haven't done the... Oh, shit, I haven't done the career yet. Uh, Army organization and politics is what I went with. Yes, sir. That doesn't affect the cost, though. It does mean that they can go up to 2,000. Fizz biscuits. Same thing. Yes, sir. Buckens at the max. Schmidty, I don't want to improve anymore. Right. Uh, do I have any other guns in my armory? I have 
quite a few of the old spring fields, that's not a surprise. Farmers, which I should sell. In fact, let's, let's, let's just go ahead and sell those right now. Because I'm not going to use them. Sell. 8,000 reboard farmers. 40 grand. Hunters. Sawn off, it's not using them. Cook and brother, definitely not using them. Uh, Palmetto, I probably will. And the Colts, I eventually want to upgrade to Colt. And then Artillery, I'm not using six pounders. Actually, a couple of Napoleons. And Howitzers. I might actually make you into a Napoleon battery. What's Schmidt using? He's using Ordnance. How much would it cost? To upgrade you to Napoleon. Nine thousand. You know what? Do it. And then Panda, I'm gonna make you howitzers. Because I'm curious to see how the howitzers work. I haven't had any yet. I have six in stock. This is a unit of six. Try it. I could always buy more. Eagle. Right, I was talking about what guns to give you. So you're using the Springfields, you're using the Lorenzes. Trooper would be the only other one that would get an upgrade. Uh, Springfield 1855s are expensive. But there are a lot of them in the shop. There will be 28,000 to upgrade. I don't have any in the armory. And that would be another, what, 50,000 for the extra? You know what, I'm going to change you to the Springfield. Where are they? There they are. Ah, oh, Harper's Ferry is more expensive. And then these, I think, are repeaters. Yeah, they are. Which are really expensive, so we're not getting those. 58 grand. I have economics for a reason. Yes, sir. Right, Trooper, you're taking the Lawrence then. Which I should have quite a few in reserve. And you're also going to do the same thing. Upgrade to a certain point with rookies. And then the rest are going to be veterans. And then you guys are essentially... Do I want to veteran you or do I want to rookie you? I think Eagle Slayer, because you have the better commander, I'm going to make you the veteran. So it's really not that expensive at this level. So I'm only using Springfields, which I have got quite a few of in storage. I just want to double the amount of supply I have. If not more. It's up to 30,000. Before I forget, because that would be bad. Right, you. Whoa, not that far. Rookie and veteran. Troop is already done. So, Gothwells and Fizzbiscuits are my elites with the Springfields. They're going to be terrible in melee, so they need to be shielded. Same with Trooper. Then Eagle Slayer, Charles, Aristide, Elysmar, Shambor are all going to be the cheaper front lines. We're not even be able to afford them all. Looking at how many I have left. Nope. Right, I'm going to just hold it there. I'm going to get you also up to your rookie level. Because I'm now having to pay for guns. That's, that's the difference. And with that, we're going to stop. Still got a little bit of money left for extra supply. 
But there we go. Um, that is a pretty well re-kitted army, hopefully. I'll probably do the smaller engagements of the, what was it, 6 or 8 brigade? So that I have money to rebuild these guys in the future. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that follow button to get notifications when I'm live in the future. If you've really enjoyed this, then do consider subscribing as well. It does tremendously help me out and lets me continue doing this, essentially. Um, if you want to support my channel in other ways, do check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking. I have a YouTube channel, which you can find at youtube.com slash mordredviking. The beginning of this series is being uploaded there as we speak. Uh, the first episode went live yesterday, and it's a daily, so every single day after that. I do also have a Discord, which you can find at this link. That is where I tend to post what I am streaming, when I am streaming, that kind of information. So if you want to know what's happening and when, that is usually the uh, the best place to check out, because I tend to use that as my mouthpiece. Uh, it's also where the community hangs out. They're a cool bunch. They know a lot about games, so if you want any tips or advice, you just want to hang with people with similar interests, uh, it's, it's pretty good for that. Uh, my next stream will be tomorrow. I'll be kicking off at 3 p.m., if I get up in time, uh, with Total War Warhammer 2, Mortal Empires, unless I get the Tomb Kings, which is doubtful because it's a Sunday, uh, in which case I will do that. But otherwise it's going to be Total War Warhammer 2, uh, Mortal Empires, where I'm playing as the Empire. And we are fighting off the perfidious chaos, having just beaten the vampires and just about held our northern front. Uh, it's, it's time for a bit of a counterattack, I think. So I do hope you'll join me for that. And then after that, I will be doing Empyrean with the other patrons. So if you're a patron of Huskal or above, you can join us for some Empyrean that we're kicking off at 7. So thank you everyone for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.